Hello, Fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, in the second part of the month, we have a few very special things taking place, and mostly it just comes down to a buildup of energy in the part of the sky for you that has to do with the feelings of love and romance and the joy that being in the company of another person can bring. And it is especially highlighted by the fact that we also have a new moon taking place in this very part of the sky. Now this new moon um, has some very special connotations taking place with it that are in some way similar to the eclipse that we had last month. However, the eclipse last month was happening in a different part of the sky for you and it was an eclipse this is not an eclipse this is a new moon eclipses generally are a lot more powerful but that doesn't mean that this new moon will still not play a very significant part in your experience of love over the course of this month and in the weeks going forward what we have happening this week, which is similar to what happened last month, or rather what we have happening this month in the second part of the month that is similar to last month, is that the sun will step into a new sign. And shortly after, right around the same time, Venus will step into that new sign and immediately experience a meeting with the moon. And so this particular lunar phenomenon, this new moon is happening at what astrologers call zero degrees. And what that means is that this particular event, celestial event is happening at the very, very beginning of its given sign. So essentially when there is phenomenon taking place at zero degrees, it is as if something hap is happening certainly an event is taking place that represents that speaks to some change some moment some understanding some development in your life however these particular planets have not fully stepped into the energy that they're now attempting to walk and so it really does represent a very very beginning and it's a beginning that you might not necessarily know what you're going to do with or where you're going to go with this and what action you can take in support of this. That's really okay. I do think that um, it may take a little bit of time as we progress into the month and especially once we get into next month as well. We have um, Venus and Mercury in this part of the sky, in the same part of the sky, moving steadily late into the month and into the next. And so I do think that developments that take place while in the immediacy in the second part of the month in the immediacy may feel like there aren't any answers and there isn't any clear action or direction to take eventually that will be revealed so as i said zero degree new moon new moons are new beginnings they're fresh starts they're fresh opportunities we have this taking place in a part of the sky, as I said, that has to do with love and romance and feelings of uh, being swept away even as well. Feelings of appreciation of the person that is in your life. And so what we have here is for those of you who are attached, there are a couple of different ways that this could play out. If you're in an established partnership, this is in one sense, this is an acknowledgement that um, the two of you are going to have to figure out a way to nurture the connection that you have and the connection that brought you together to begin with, to nurture the joy and the good feelings that you feel around each other, to strengthen the warmth that you feel in the presence of this other person and in some way to further put time apart or further engage this person to allow sweetness to develop more and more sweetness to be nurtured as well. For some of you out there though, I do think that um, given that this part of the sky also speaks to fertility, it also speaks to um, an energy of children as well, it could be that there's some talk about either having children or wanting to have children or if you do have children already, what you're going to do with your kids. But it looks like no clear answers may be there. So it may just be an idea, it may feel like it's a little bit 
in the ether, if you will. Um, I'm almost seeing a feeling uh, for those of you attached right now that it may almost feel like, okay, let's do the next thing. Now, what's the next thing that's expected of us? For a lot of people, it is um, having a family for some people, and it may be something, whether or not you sort of consciously said, no, we're not gonna do this, or we're not doing any more, whatever the case may be. I do think that there is gonna be this thing in the ether, should we have a kid, should we have another kid? What might it be like if we did have a kid? How would our lives be different? Um, I love you so much, I wanna have your kid. Those are the types of feelings I'm seeing arise. However, understand, it's a beginning, okay? so. It's not necessarily about having all the details in place. It's not necessarily about being very clear as to an action plan ahead or anything really tangible manifesting immediately. But it does look like what role actually having a creation together, what role that's gonna play in your lives now and in the period ahead. It also looks like the likelihood of you sort of saying to yourselves, the two of you talking and saying to yourselves, okay, um, this may be expected of us and actually it may actually be an external thing where um, you are somewhere and someone makes a joke or family members sort of nudge one of you and say, hey, how, let's have more kids or let's have a kid. Um, and they're talking about you and your partner. Um, and that could lead to a whole discussion around what that might mean to your partnership. So these seem to be the themes that are arising. And again, I know I'm saying it a few times, but I can't stress it enough. It's a zero degree new moon. It's a very, it's just the beginning. And so whatever does arise now, it doesn't look like there's any tangible steps that need to happen necessarily, but rather there's emotion, there's feelings, there's inspirations that are arising, but they need to be flushed out a little bit more for you to get clear as to what you really want, what, um, how it's going to look to continue to nurture this bond. Those of you who currently have somebody in your sphere, um, I do want to say, continuing on with this fertility theme, um, I do think that there may be some of you out there, and it may be a little soon, but given, um, it's almost as if there's this very fertile energy, but it's also like, what are we gonna do with this? And so, just as it sounds, um, this could be, um, and I gotta say, it may be um, that developments take place that may lead to questions as to whether or not one person is pregnant or whether one person does want children or does not want children. And um, it seems that there are no really clear cut answers. So if that's something that you don't want, if you know that you don't want a surprise pregnancy that leaves you feeling very ambiguous, um, then you know as you start the month to take steps so that that doesn't have to manifest. Um, However, if you um, are one of those people who yourself is a little bit ambiguous as to if that's something you want, then this may be a time when you're looking at this person who's in your sphere now and thinking, could this be somebody who's actually a partner for me? Is this somebody that I actually could be with and, and have be a parent to a child that I could have? And so this can be a very consequential time. It's dating with a different lens. It's one thing to date um, and think, you know, I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna enjoy my life, I'm gonna meet a lot of people. It's another thing to date thinking, could this person be a parent to a child that I would like to have? It's a whole other way of choosing mates. And so um, that's gonna be part of the questions that come up for you at this time as well as part of the developments um, and as part of the change in perception that you feel as you are learning more about this person currently in your sphere. Late in the month, we are gonna have Venus speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. And so when I see something like that, Uranus speaking in supreme harmony with Venus, so Venus moving along, reaching out to Uranus. Um, I mean, these are delightful romantic surprises is really what it comes down to. That's the best way to describe it. This is making a connection with somebody, um, feeling, yes, swept off your feet, um, and feeling like a romantic surprise really went really, really well. And in a moment, feeling really close to another person, um, feeling surprisingly understood. All of that seems very much in the air. So. Even if um, in the middle of the month um, and in the second part of the month, if it 
seems like or, or starts off feeling like um, there's a lack of connection or a lack of understanding that very much might give way to um, having a moment that really clears the air and that really adds a lot of fun and lightness and joy to um, the connection that you are now trying to establish. Those of you who are not currently in an established bond, don't currently have somebody in your sphere, well, I do think that, that, first of all, the desire to have somebody there is going to be emphasized in the second part of the month, certainly. But this is where I think Venus and Uranus are really going to help you out tremendously because this is sort of meeting somebody and having a almost sudden reaction, feeling a very strong attraction to this person. And now this is in the second part of the month. Do keep in mind that in the middle of the month, we do have Venus meeting Saturn and so that's pretty serious that um, can feel a little a, a little um, limiting okay and so there's no need to if any emotions should arise that feel less than empowering let them serve as a moment of truth for you let them serve as a connection with your knowing within that you deserve love and that you desire to be loved and then let that go and moving forward, know that towards the end of the month, there are some really lovely romantic um, surprises that the universe has in store for you and just enjoy yourself. That's really what it comes down to. At the very least, there's gonna be some flirtation that uh, sort of takes you by surprise and does restore your faith that there is love in the world for you. And that's really what it comes down to, I think, for all Leos out there. The universe wants you to know that love is on offer and there is love in the world for you. And that's what's really going to be emphasized now. Allow yourself to nourish that feeling and allow yourself to strengthen the knowledge within you that you deserve to have love and you deserve to have a love that truly feels joyous and truly feels right. If you connect with that, then you're going to find that emotion, that knowing, that certainty magnified in your practical reality.